because you got the GT3 RS allocation. I mean, they go over like 150 over quicker. We're setting up this 40 foot trailer, so we're hoping that we can fit all three cars on it. And uh, he rolled up in his uh, GT4 RS, as you can see here. Test driver once, and he ended up buying the car for me. So it's the morning of. We're on our way to uh, our Porsche dealership over here to pick up all our GT4 RSs. It'll be a pretty interesting sight to see. So yeah, stick with us and you'll get to see them all. So we ended up take, uh, picking up this 40 foot trailer. So we're hoping that we can fit all three cars on it, but we'll see. Grapevine. With our big 40 foot trailer. So we met up with a local client over here that uh, has a 4RS as well. Found us on social media and uh, he rolled up in his uh, GT4 RS as you can see here. So we're checking it out. He's here to kind of experience the delivery with us. Funny thing is he actually got this from um, he said he got it from Houston, so our same dealership as well. Murdered out with the racing yellow. Reminds me of my old black 4RS. <laughs> Looks good, clean. Chris, our sales rep, told us to wait outside the dealership because he's not ready and all set up yet. And uh, apparently they have something a little special for us on the delivery. He was saying that um, he saw a smoke machine over here. <laughs> no, they said they were gonna bring a smoke machine. Oh, smoke, yeah. This is uh, Andy and Oric. They're also here to help us take delivery. It'll be an interesting yes. experience picking up, you know, three, four RSs at the same time. So probably even desensitized because of being here. But, you know, <laughs> no. kind of numbed it a little bit because the, you know, it's not like the first time getting into the car. But I have a feeling like once we actually see all the cars there and everything, oh, yeah. it'll just like with the colors and all that. Yeah, yeah. it'll all come back. And then maybe the first cruise, you know, they'll come back to you. Yeah. The competition's here. <laughs> Our buddy Mike came over to just hang out with us and uh, pick up a Porsche as well. Our uh, buddy Ali had a pretty funny question over here, so I felt like I should record this. Yeah, so I was figuring, I was trying to figure out because you got the GT3 RS allocation, right? Yeah. And it's not easy to come across one of those. I mean, they go over like 150 over a sticker. Mm -hmm. So my question to you was, how many cars did you have to kind of buy and sell from the dealership to build a relationship to get an allocation? I think that's the question everyone has. Yeah. <laughs> so I started out with a uh, 718 Spider. Okay. Traded that in for a uh, Carrera GTS. Hold no. on, but even the spider is not easy to get the allocation. Did they? It was used. It was used. Okay. It was used. Uh, CPO pre-owned. Uh, after that, traded that in for a brand new GTS. 4.0. Yep. So with that transaction, I probably lost around 12,000, 15,000. Not bad. Drove the GTS for what six, seven months. Mm -hmm. Put 3,500 miles on it. Drove into Georgia and back. I lost 15k on that. Okay. Then so traded that in for a Turbo S. 992? Uh, yeah, paid MSRP for it. Allocation or? Allocation, okay. built it, uh, spec'd it out. Then after a few weeks, I did not like that car at all. <laughs> then traded that back in, got MSRP for it. Then got a call in October, November, no, end of November, early December saying, hey, you got a three RS allocation. That's not that bad. But on top of that, I was still buying a Macan for a daily. I bought two Macans from them. First one was a pool car, which is a Carmine Red. Yeah. Then I eventually wanted to build my own. I wanted a Miami blue one. So I traded that red one in for a blue one. Lost maybe 15. 15 grand from Macan? Yeah. Wow. But I did drive that for almost a year. Then also my wife bought a 991. Point one. Okay, so you've done way more. I don't know the exact number, but between me and Hugh, 19. And our, yeah, our referrals, it's about 19 cars of transactions Holy in two God. years. Sometimes when you ask for certain cars, maybe there's no slots or allocations available, so you have to look outside. Yeah. I feel like we're small fish. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, no, if you get the three RS, you no longer are a, bit a small fish. Yeah. Come on.
So we just took delivery of our 4S's, as you can see, pretty amazing, and um, we're about to get ready, load it up, and bring them home. Loading up the uh, Ulrich uh, Golf Blue uh, GT4S and also my Ruby Star. John's inside right now, uh, getting the car ready. Unfortunately, we couldn't fit his uh, on the end of the trailer or be hanging off while we're driving back to Houston. It's been a few days, gotten back into town with the GT4 RSs. Now it's sitting at AFS getting PPF and tint, so it'll be about a week or so before we get to take those home. But uh, we actually got a call, an interesting call from our friend uh, here at Port Sugarland. And our friend Neil and Robbie are taking, are, are unwrapping their uh, Turbo S, brand new Turbo S. So we've already been through Turbo S's, so we get to experience this with these guys. Yeah, we get to see yeah. their emotions. Their emotions and how they're gonna see it for the first time. It's like the first look at your wedding, you know, when you're seeing your wife or spouse for the first time. soon to be taking delivery of their Turbo SO, but they've been kind of joining in and converting to Porsche. Uh, so pretty much it started a few years ago with the first was he got a take in. Um, that was the first one that like our introductory, like into Porsche kind of, you know, you have to, you go up through the ladder, right? And that was an awesome car, super good platform. I know Hugh talked about it as well. After that, it was the, kind of went to the 911 platform, which is the GTS. Taycan was black, GTS was black. They offered us more cars and they were black and we're like, okay, hey, let's try and find a different color, right? I know John got the 3RS. As soon as he got that allocation, you had 3RS or 4RS allocation. Both, right? Yeah piggybacked along with that and we're like hey we're here you know uh, can we get a car too so we got really lucky and got the turbo s or they let us choose the color and kind of the spec and everything which is an awesome process but also knowing porsche's options kind of overwhelming sometimes because you want everything but you know there's some things that you know look better with certain specs over others so this is a new dealership porsche land just opened what six months ago at least yeah six six months ago, six months ago or so this is kind of like right in our backyard pretty much and that's why they were able to kind of set the roots here and try to start a relationship. And I mean, they got a Turbo S allocation off the bat. That was uh, the best advice is literally just find the dealership that you vibe with. Yeah. You got a dealership that vibes with you in the same wavelength and things like that. That's where you want to set on base and build a relationship. End of the day, these guys are like family. You know, you build a relationship with these guys over many, many years, right? From your first car until, you know, 50, 60 cars later. You grew up with BMWs, you know, our parents have BMWs. Stuff. And then, you know, it's like you get into a Porsche, you kind of you once really you test drive, once you get handed the keys, yeah. that's when it's game over. Yeah, it's game over. You really know the difference, like just in the feel of you are one with the car in so many different ways, and you really feel that for it's not like it's an experience, right? Like you can't explain how a Porsche drives to somebody until you give them the keys, and you, even if they ride with you, like Ulrich got sold just by, what, a 15 minute car ride in the 4RS and he was he sold rode passenger. He rode passenger in my 4RS. I, I, yeah. I was just like, out of the blue, I was just like, hey, here, take the keys, go drive it. But he was too scared to drive it, so he rode passenger and our friend Johnny was driving. 15 minutes later, he goes, dude, I love this car. A week later, he goes, I'm ready to buy one. Can we find one? And that's how that whole thing unveil, uh, unfolded and he got his Gulf Blue GT4RS. I know, it truly is an experience every yeah. single time you get into the car. Um, 
I catch myself so many times, like no radio, no anything, just kind of listening to the car and what it does. You're not buying just the car, you're yeah. buying the brand and everything that comes with it. Don't look at you, you're not just buying the car. It's not, the price of the car is not everything. It's everything that's around it. The service, the warranty, the team, environment with these dealerships and things like that. You don't even have to get into a GT car. It doesn't have to be a, a Turbo S or anything. Just like a base 911 is extremely awesome. Like even a Taycan is like extremely awesome. Like any platform that you get into. I had a lot of fun. John had a Macan GTS and I thought that was the most fun thing ever. <laughs>